Hello, uh, today I'm doing a deck tech video on my Red Green Aggro Werewolf deck. I actually already did this video, I haven't posted it yet, um, but I did this video like last week and I was planning on posting it today. And then today I was randomly reading some of the um, the facts on the Magic of the Gathering website because I'm one of those people that that reads through like information booklets. And I I, uh, I actually discovered something super awesome about this deck that I didn't know or I didn't realize until today. So it's it's pant shittingly awesome as I told my friend. Um, but I also feel kind of stupid that I never noticed. But anyway, I have to redo this. So, not that you saw the first version anyway. But, anyway. It's red, green, it's aggro, and it's werewolves. So I run seven forests, and each one has a different art, because I have this thing where all of my basic lands have to have different art. Um, eight, no, seven, eight, eight mountains. Also all with different art. And for my mana fixing lands, I actually run Gruel Turfs. I would prefer Rootbound Crag, and I do actually have one. And I'm hoping to obtain some more through trading or, like, payment through magic counters. Um, but these work okay. I mean, they're not they're not the best, and I would definitely prefer, like, a place set of Rootbound Crags. Um, that's what I use. So, And then um, for the theme, mostly, I have Keswick Wolf Run. Um, it's it's a pretty good, like, land for a red-green aggro deck. It's probably, like, you need it. You probably should always run this card, at least one or two of. I just have it in here for the theme. It's got that creepy little werewolf up there. Um, I don't usually use the mana ability, um, because, I mean, I do sometimes if I have extra mana lying around, but it becomes redundant, and uh, you'll see why later in the video. So that was the mana base. Now for the critters. I run three, four, sorry, four wolf-bitten captives, and one is a foil, but you can't tell because matte, the Ultra Pro matte sleeves are just terrible for foils, but I have clammy hands and everything gets spongy if I don't use the matte sleeve, so this is my luck. And three reckless waifs, and these are all your one drops. So... You know, when you have an aggro deck, you want to have as many one-drops as possible. And they're not bad. They're both one-ones as humans, but when they transform into werewolves, they're pretty awesome. For the two mana drops, I have two Gatstaff Shepherds, um, which occasionally I'll switch out for Hinterland Hermit if I'm playing somebody that has um, green creatures, but most of my friends don't. Um... And I like him because his werewolf has Intimidate. And like I said, most of my friends don't play green, and nobody has artifact creatures in my playgroup except for me. So he's he's good. He's good. Mayor of Averbrook, essential to this deck. He's awesome. It's probably, like, I think he's the most expensive card in this deck, and he's only like $1.50 now. Poor guy. But he's awesome. I love this card. He busts your humans when he's a human, and then when he transforms into a werewolf... He busts your werewolves, and then he creates wolf tokens, which he also buffs. So he's just all around awesome, and I like him. And so here is the part that I had to redo. If I had editing software, I would just, like, splice it in. Um, Immerwolf. I did not realize just how amazing this card is, and I will explain. So it's a three drop, one green, one red, one generic. Has Intimidate, which is, you know, one adds. Other wolf and werewolf creatures you can draw get plus one, plus one, which is originally why I put it in this deck. But then it's got this, uh, this, you know, this bottom ability. Non-human werewolves you control can't transform. So originally I thought that that was, like, this weird printing thing where they were going to make non-human werewolves and then they didn't. So I thought this ability didn't mean anything. But in fact... It's so awesome, which I feel like such an idiot. I've been playing this deck for three months now, and I haven't noticed. When your werewolves transform, they, they lose the, the human creature type. So basically, if I have an Immerwolf out on the field, my werewolves don't transform back into humans. And I did not know that, but that's pretty awesome. So, yeah. Uh, for three drops, well, Immerwolf was the first of the three drops, I also have two Daybreak Rangers. They're pretty nifty. Deal direct damage to flying creatures, which is, you know, it's, it's pretty good. This deck doesn't really have 
uh, good defenses against flying creatures. Nobody, nobody has reach. She also, when she is a werewolf, has, like, she fights creatures, which is cool. That's another good way to get rid of flyers, especially if she's buffed up, because when she's a werewolf, she's a 4-4, which is a pretty, uh, pretty nice-sized creature, but then with Mayor of Averbrook and Immerwolf, she can get quite big. Then I have Crew and Outlaw, another pretty great werewolf. She's a little harder to cast because of the double red, but I've not really had a problem with that. And she has first strike, which is cool for a human, but when she's a werewolf, she has a double strike, and that's even cooler. And then uh, for the four drops, I have two instigator gangs. They give a bonus to attacking creatures, which is great in an aggro deck when you're constantly attacking. And then their werewolf pack, whatever pack they become, gives plus three to attacking creatures, so I like them. And then I have uh, two tormented pariahs for the last of the four drops and the last of the critters. And I just like it because it's a really, really strong werewolf. It's a 6-4. So. Now on to the spells. Um, Pillar of Flame. There's a, a decent, well, not probably a decent amount. I don't have a lot of removal in this deck because it's all about the werewolves. But um, Burn Spell, Pillar of Flame. I run one in the main deck, and if I'm playing against... Um, my friend's vampire deck that has four blood artists, I'll put four, four pillar of, of flames in there to deal with that asshole. And it's also good against zombie shenanigans. I do have a couple of friends that have zombie decks, so again, I'll side, I'll, uh, I'll put a playset in here, but normally I just run one. And then, um, Thunderbolt, I have two of these, and I like these because they're basically Searing Spear, but then you can also do four damage to a flying creature, which is pretty nice. Um, I run two Lightning Bolts, so while these are in the deck, it's not standard legal, but it's still modern legal. Um, if I were to ever play this in a standard tournament, I would just take these out and probably just leave the two Pillars of Flame in. One damage, or one mana for three damage, it's just an awesome, awesome burn spell. And then, um, that's all the burn spells that I, I use. And then I have Dyna Charge, which is fun. For three mana, I can give all of my critters plus two until end of turn, which in an aggro deck, awesome. I have two Prey Upons, um, firstly because they fit the theme. Look at how cute that picture is. Um, but also it's a fun, it's a fun card, and it's another way to get rid of big flyers or creatures that my friends are being asses about and won't block with or attack with that I want to get rid of because my friends are weird about their creatures. And then this this spell is probably the most important in the deck, Moon Mist. Definitely want to have a four of. And it's it can win you the game. It's fabulous. I said that weird. Anyway, it's fabulous. Transform all humans. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn by creatures other than werewolves and wolves. So it's basically fog, plus all of your werewolves are awesome. And there's not much your opponents can do about it. I mean, they could counter it, or they could block all of your critters, or cast safe passage or some crap like that. But say that they don't. Say they have no answer to it. And sure, they can block, but... If you've got this out, Full Moon's Rise, all of your werewolves have trample and blocking is pretty useless. So this gives all of your werewolf critters plus one plus zero and they have trample. And then you can also sacrifice it to regenerate all your werewolves in case something goes terribly wrong. It's also a really fun answer to um, Judgment Day, or Day of Judgment, that my friend likes to play. Ooh. Fun times, fun times. And then the last spell is in here because look at it. Just look at that art. It's two werewolves being blessed by an angel. It doesn't make any sense, but it's werewolves, so it goes in here. And, I mean, it's kind of cool for its miracle cost, but I would never cast it otherwise. Um, that's my werewolf deck. It's fun. It's awesome. If you don't have a werewolf deck, I would make one. They're really fun. It's really fast, it's really aggressive. Aggressive isn't aggro, isn't really my play type at all. I actually prefer control. Um, but this deck is really fun, and now that I've discovered that it's even more awesome than I thought it was, I'm really excited to play it again soon. Cause I haven't played with this deck in probably a month or so. Um, hope you liked that. 
please, um, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, and, um, yeah, thank you for watching, have a good day.